In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth. The Lord filled them with the spirit of wisdom, understanding, clothed them in a robe of glory. Turn him in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Love of God the Father with all of you. So today, a feast day, a major, not a major feast day, but sure a major character and that is St. Augustine, uh, born in the four, 400s, I think. And so the early church, one of the earliest of the church fathers, one of those great uh, giants of faith that was raised as a child in Catholic faith and all that, and blew it all off. Who needs it? And it took years then with his mother, Monica, as we celebrated yesterday, uh, to stick with him, to pray for him, to support him, to try to understand him, but to raise him then in the life of grace. So let's take a moment to prepare the Eucharist and be mindful of our parents, those then who have stuck with us and who have mentored us then into the life we share with Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the source and summit for all life and the living God. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you help us day by day to a strength and courage be faithful to the gospel. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, help us all as you're mindful and grateful of our mothers, and those then who sustain us with their love. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, for us everlasting life. And let us pray. Renew your church, we pray, O Lord, in that spirit with which you endowed your bishop. St. Augustine. He was filled with that same spirit. May we thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom. May we seek you, the author of heavenly love, to our Lord Jesus, your Son, who has arranged with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, 
the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, <clears throat> yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, uh, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. In a way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel is according to Matthew. Jesus spoke uh, to his disciples. Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher and you are all brothers. Call on no one on earth your father, for you have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant, for whoever exalts himself will be humbled. But whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The gospel of the Lord. Well, it's not uh, often, I guess, we think about the at least one line I want to dwell on today in the uh, in the first reading, and that is that uh, nobody has ever seen God. Nobody. Jesus repeated that, or at least uh, also said that one day. He's preaching to the crowds. No one has ever seen God. That is, with eyeballs that are in our human condition with our eyes and ears and touch and smell 
and uh, whatever else is there, taste, I guess, huh? five senses. That's all we got. And when we die, that's all we take with us, is our five senses. And so it is a part of that whole way. When St. Augustine says that the heart has reasons, I uh, know that's uh, another guy, what is it? Oh, heart, uh, Augustine says, my heart is restless. My heart is restless until it rests in thee. Because without God's presence, God's uh, being a part of our lives, we are not just restless, but we're unfulfilled. We are created in the image and likeness of God with free will, with free uh, freedom of spirit. That is what Augustine was so big about in his famous book called The Confessions of St. Augustine. Because it is only when we have our, our minds on and our, our eyes open, our ears open, our hearts open to recognize God's presence in our life. Then is when we are truly human, because then is when we can also acknowledge and confirm that uh, the Lord clearly is present in our lives. So that first reading that we had then from John, speaking then about that uh, God is love. If there's any one way to acknowledge God's presence in our life, it's kind of like a virus. God's presence in our world is kind of like the virus, that codon thing. Because you can't see it, you can't smell it, can't grab it and put it in a box, can't hang on to God in any way. All we can do is acknowledge that presence in our lives and allow that presence to transform or to open our, our human eyeballs, open our human ears, open our human hearts to acknowledge that presence. And it is then the God of love. Whatever way that uh, St. John says, those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. It's not just a play on words. There's a sequence. There's a sequence of events. Because clearly it is not that God, John says, you didn't choose me. You did not choose God. Jesus said that one day, huh? You didn't choose me. You have not chosen anything. God has chosen you. And so however ways that that, it's not just a play on words. It's a chicken and the egg story. In whatever ways that we recognize God's will, God's choice, God's sending Jesus into this world by choice to be born into this world as one like us in all things, to show us the way, to expose us then to that presence, the presence of the living God in Christ Jesus, his love for his adversaries and his enemies, all peoples for all time. It is his choice always to be with us. When he says, I'll be with you always, you can trust me, you can count on me, I'll be there for you. But we must always then try our best to look, to smell it, and to look for ways to acknowledge that presence in, uh, in all of our affairs with our love for one another. And so Lord Jesus has taken that choice to show the love for each of us as his children, as brothers and sisters then, in his name, but in his presence. Presence here this morning in this Eucharist. So stand now and offer our prayers. St. Augustine reminds us that our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. These prayers for the day. For the church, may she grow and prosper in the Lord's saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayers. For all who work in the legal and judicial systems, 
May God grant them wisdom in acting with justice and fairness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <clears throat> hear our prayers. For all who struggle with sickness in all its many forms, may Christ's healing be theirs this day and always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayers. For this faith community, may God continue to open our hearts to the message of his love revealed to us in Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, uh, hear our <clears throat> prayers. For the mass intention for this day, August 28th, for the repose of the soul of Virginia Gray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayers. Let's offer a special prayer this morning for all children. In gratitude for the joy and blessings that kids bring into our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. God, our Father, in this Eucharist, you bless us, you nourish and strengthen us as your people with the bread of life your word and flesh and the breaking of bread at this table. We offer these prayers now through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer as a work of human hands. It's a bread of life. And we've come to, uh, blessed be God, it lives forever. And by this mingling of water and of wine, you've been able to share in the divinity of Christ as he humbled himself uh, to share in our humanity. For blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer as fruit of the vine, as a work of human hands, they become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, with humble spirit and contrite heart, you know, sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you as you cleanse us of our sin. You wash us of all our iniquities. And pray, my brothers and sisters, may this our offering of bread and of wine be all the efforts you make in our lives. To our best to be clear, it is by acknowledging that God chooses to love us, that it is in Jesus who makes it clear. You didn't choose me. I have chosen you. The best we can do is offer prayers of gratitude and acceptance. So may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, Father Almighty. Sacrifice with your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good of all his holy church. Amen. Celebrating this memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and a bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. Truly it's right and just, our duty, salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You are praised in the company of your saints. In the crowning of their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communing with them, you give us companionship, intercession, sheer support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them that imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so the angels and archangels and all the great multitude of saints, we sing that hymn of your praise. Without end, we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sunny in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord. All that you have created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the power, the working of your Holy Spirit, you give, all, you, make, you give life to all things, make them to be holy, as you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, may a pure sacrifice be offered for the glory of your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Holy Spirit, sanctify these gifts of bread and of wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord and Jesus Christ. It is at his command that we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, as he took bread and said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples. He said, take this, all of you. Eat it, for this is my body. It will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice uh, to his disciples. He said, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant. It'll be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, so to eat this bread, drink this cup, to proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate this memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon this oblation of your church as we recognize that sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us uh, to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son to be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. Augustine, and all of your saints. It is with a, uh, that their constant intercession in your presence that we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace, salvation throughout the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth 
with your servant Francis our Pope and with Samuel our Bishop, with Orkay's assistant, with the whole order of bishops and clergy, with the entire people uh, that you've made to be your own, that you listen graciously to the prayers of this family, as you have summoned us here before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children that are scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, those who are pleasing to you and who are passing from this life, give kind admittance into your kingdom, for there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. It is through Christ our Lord, to be still in this world, all this good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the Lord's command and formed by his divine teaching, let's offer his prayer now for the kingdom to come in our own day. Our Father, who art in heaven, I hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day and your mercy keep us free from sin Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will as you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. With your spirit. There's often another sign of the peace we share in the risen Christ. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life for us who receive him. For with faith in your love, Faith in your mercy. We eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us a condemnation, but health in mind and body and in heart. Behold this Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, come into this world by choice, for the choice, the will of the Father, and bring life to this world, save us from ourselves, the life we share in his risen Christ. Happy we are called to this supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ can be safe eternal life.
body of Christ, bro. Body of Christ, my sister. Mm. Body of Christ, my brother. Body of Christ, my sister. Body of Christ, my sister. Body of Christ, my brother. Body of Christ, my sister. Body of Christ, my sister. Body of Christ, my sister. Glad you come today. Peace of Jesus, mother Mary, with you, sir. Body of Christ, my sister. The blood of Christ,
Thus says the Lord, you have but one teacher, the Christ. All of you are brothers. So let us pray. We are partaking in Christ's table, sanctify us, O Lord, that being made a members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless all of you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We go in the peace of Christ, the Mass is finished. Say my Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ now and forever. Thank you, brother. You're a good man. You know that, don't you? Well, hang on to it.